Richard, let's get us started and give us a little bit of a background of what application controls are all about. Well, first, they're application controls, and they can really be looked at by any auditor, not just an IT auditor. The application controls that we're looking at are simply things that help assure that the process you expect is being done. In a normal audit, we would look at uh, reconciliations or checklists or management reviews, which are ways of making sure that a process is working appropriately. With an application control, we're trying to make sure that the system that we're relying on is also doing things properly so that the information you type in is uh, put in properly. So if you get an error message when you type an O instead of a zero, that's an application control. That's a test of input. Uh, if the information you are trying to uh, report out is inappropriate, we need to make sure that that only goes to the people that are supposed to see that information. That's an output control. Again, it's another type of application control. So these are simple things that we can check to make sure an application works properly. And I think it's important because we talk a lot about the importance of IT within organizations and um, a lot of auditors say, oh, it's a big risk for my organization, but then when we look at what folks are doing in their audit plans, they're sort of avoiding IT. And, and some of it, I think, is maybe intimidation or, or just lack of knowledge, but you're saying, hey, every, every auditor can do this type of thing. So, so give, give me maybe a couple, of, a couple of examples. I think you talk about actually four key questions that maybe folks should look at when they're looking at application controls. Right, and those are basically the, the risk assessment uh, step, the planning of, of any audit. We look at what are the business objectives of the company? What are we trying to accomplish in this process area? Uh, so figure out what, what are the objectives that we need to accomplish and then identify what are the key risks to that being done. In the case of application controls, you're looking at data, certainly, but we're also looking at approvals and uh, roles and responsibilities. Those can be checked, but that's what are the risks? Now, the controls that are put in place mitigate those risks, so do we have input controls, do we have roles that are being done, and then we have to figure out what is the relative uh, importance of each of those controls. Where are we really relying on the system as opposed to an external review? And that's how we get to what we want to look at. Absolutely. And so, I mean, I think part of it for folks, maybe to help them understand how they can incorporate into, into what they do is, for everything that you audit, there's typically an IT system that's linked to it, yes. right? And so that's where you need to start at the beginning and say, how do and we... Any process area that a, a financial or operational auditor might review, you have people who are relying on a system, uh, a financial system, a planning system, uh, some type of design system, um, but th they're all computer-based. And we need to make sure that when the business is relying on that system, we can provide assurance to management that that reliance is appropriate. And so everybody should be doing application controls in, in some type, form of an audit or another. 